Yes, they did impose a no-fly zone uh, for the Kurdish areas of Iraq back in 1991. Yes, they did it uh, with Serbia, too, although that took many, many months. But we have seen and we are also hearing indiscriminate bombing by uh, uh, military aircraft. We saw two defect. We've seen uh, helicopters as well, lots of reports. And there is a real feeling here among diplomats uh, of certain countries. This is a Rwanda moment. You either act or there's blood on the hands of the UN for inaction. And especially now uh, in the last 24 hours where you are seeing uh, these Libyan diplomats defect, say they are speaking for the Libyan people. And remember, there's very little leverage on the Libyan regime generally. They are isolated generally. They don't have many friends. And there's this feeling that this isolation could lead the body count higher if there is not some sort of intervention. Now, there's one thing about a no-fly zone. The other thing is enforcing it. There is lots to talk about as diplomats gather here uh, in the next uh, eight hours or so. I can tell you there will be some real questions about sovereignty as well. Uh, but there is a huge amount of push from the Libyans here, can you believe it, to actually go against their regime.